So you want to play games but don't have a high-end PC? Well, no worries because in this video, I'm going to tell you five games with three bonus that can run in most of the moderate hardware. Hey, this is Akash and I make this type of contents daily. So if that sounds good to you, don't forget to subscribe and let's jump into the video. And before talking about the games, let's talk about something else like why I chose these games. Well, first thing first, these are most of the underrated games i have seen a bunch of videos in youtube read a bunch of articles about some games in low end hardware most of the games that those people suggest either are uh, old or most of the time a lot of you guys have already played those like uh, assassin creed the far cry series watch dogs uh, gta series except the gta 5 because that needs a uh, quite beefy hardware then Metal Gear Solid, all these games, most of you guys have either played it or either heard it. But in this video, as I said, I'm going to give you five games that are very much underrated and starting the list with a Bioshock series. In this series, you have three games, Bioshock, Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite. The Infinite came, uh, I think, in 2013. Uh, 13 so it is a relatively modern I'm not saying it is like the modern game the, the modernist game or something like that it is relatively modern it came out seven years ago but what the game has it still still the graphics hold up to this date and not only that the game's story guys I'm not a huge multiplayer fan but what I am is a great story fan like i want story in everything whether it's in my books in movies or in my games if this or the game or anything has a good story well i'm in for that and bioshock really has a great and interesting story the gameplay is amazing the world the level design is like perfect and now talking about perfect this game a uh, might not be perfect for a lot of people if you want a military shooter and if you want uh, something like a very great combat mechanics then this game not might be for you because i'm not a huge fan of the combat mechanics but what i'm fan of about this game this this game is its story and the game is specs of the spec ops the line it's a uh, amazing game the story like what do you think when you he heard the a military shooter or a war uh, shooting game it generally you are going to get into a bunch of fights you are going to win you have to uh, save everybody and you have to save the day but this game is nothing like that you have to survive in this game and no matter what you choose if you took a wrong decision or if you took a right decision there will be consequences there will be someone you have to left behind there will be some sacrifice you have to made and like the story is so much grounded i'm not saying the game is very realistic but the story that is very realistic and yeah, a bunch of people have a bunch of problem with the game's world design or some level design. But honestly, I really love uh, where the game is set. It's on Dubai and it's it's amazing. If you love shooting games, especially military shooters, give it a go. Now on to the top three and the third position is for Dead Cell. It's an indie game and I know when I say indie games, most of you people think like, huh? indie games who plays indie games i don't like it but believe me this is a gem this is something like you know uh, people say hidden gems it is one of that hidden gems it's a greatly received indie games indie game but the problem is it's an indie game so a lot of time indie games doesn't get the mainstream uh marketing but this really got uh, the mainstream marketing people love the game and for some good reasons it's a action adventure metroidvania platformer and what do you think when you hear metroidvania action adventure platformer uh, mario i think when people hear um, platformer not the action adventure but platformer most of them like ah so the game is like mario you jump you uh, do a bunch of stuff 
it's it, it's not like that it's a very interesting game the level design it's so intriguing it's a pixelated level design and that's the best thing about it and the best feature that could be frustrating for some people but it is the best feature of this game and that is parma death so what that means is no matter where you are in the game no matter where if you like in the last boss fight of this game you die start over you will get to have all the gear or all the stuff you already acquired through the game but you die start over my man and believe me it's not a very big game it's a small game but the thing is the parma debt and like i i have tried so hard to finish this game and like it, it it was not like punishingly hard it was hard but at the end it was very rewarding and every time when you oh, retry to play the game you find new ways to defeat that level to defeat that boss and it's so great and as i said give it a go it really great game it doesn't need a bunch of hardware resources it runs on relatively uh, older hardware so definitely try it and the second game of for today and that is again another indie title and this is hollow knight it is kind of the same uh with like it's similar to a dead cells but what it has and what i love about this game is the level design it's very simple black and white gray scale like it, the game is not black and white it's a gray scale uh, monochromatic uh, like the main focus or the main color palette of the game is black and white uh, there are a bunch of colors and they pop uh, mostly their uh, pastel colors like desaturated pastel colors and that is the best thing uh, the level design of this game is amazing the gameplay mechanics come on it's a platformer and if i'm saying it, it and it and like it it made the second position so the gameplay mechanics has to be good right and the score oh my god i'm not saying this is the best indie game score i've ever heard but it is pretty close to being the perfect because i think i have one game in this list which like the score was something else now before getting into the first or the number one of this list, let's give you some bonus games and starting with the return of Obra Dean and boy oh boy, it this game is not for everybody but if you play it or if you like at least try to play it like when you first see it like it, what is this a black and white pixelated old school looking game I'm not gonna play it man what's like no no this is not my kind of thing I kind of said the same thing but I was at the same time intrigued and when I played it I'm like wow I haven't played a game like this for so long and the as I said it's a 3d game it's a 3d game but it's a one bit 3d games that mean you only or the game creator had the only option to ha to either make like only two color option black and white and also the world uh, uh design and how the world load up assets it's very different it's very old schooly and the best thing it has a lovecraftian story and if you don't know i'm a huge fan of lovecraft uh lovecraftian story and to prove that point i have a proof and this is my proof this is a uh, call of cthulhu and and other weird tales this is like one of the best like the best stories of hp lovecrafts it has like uh, the rat in the wall the picture in the house uh, the uh, festival the call of cthulhu and bunch of others it's 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 a really great book uh, like I'm a huge fan of uh, H.P. Lovecraft and he created a genre, the Lovecraftian genre. And if you don't know uh, the, what I'm talking about, well, Lovecraftian genre is it's a horror genre, but it's not something like it's not something like a traditional horror genre. It's it's like atmospheric horror, like the whole atmosphere is spooky. There is a something other worldly uh, spirit thing which uh, you cannot see 
बट यू कैन सेंस एट एंड लाइक इट्स इट्स सो अमेजिंग इट्स वियर्ड बट एट द सेम टाइम इट्स सो गुड सो स्पोकी एंड यू विल एन्जॉय एनी लव क्राफ्ट इन स्टोरी एंड आई थिंक देर इज आई हैवन वॉच डेट बट देर इज अ सीरीज ऑन द मेकिंग अबाउट ए और इट ऑलरेडी रिलीज अबाउट दिस लव क्राफ्ट इन स्टोरी बट हे आई एम आई एम गेटिंग Uh, shifted from the point let's go back uh, to the return of the obradin um and the best thing about this game as i said uh, the pixelated uh, or the one bit stuff and another thing this game is made by a one guy one guy did the everything the level design the gameplay mechanics uh, the score every single thing even to the story the story is really great about the uh, about, uh, like in the game so yeah just just try it at least once for me just 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 try this game and let me know in the comment section how you guys liked it now on to the second uh bonus game and that is cuphead and i'm sure you have uh, already heard or seen this game uh and if you haven't tried it try it like this is also not for everybody when they first look at it like like wow there's a cute game and the game has a cute story but what is not cute about this game is the whole game like it's so frustratingly hard like you have to be precise and i by precise i mean precise and you think like you have great gaming skill boy oh boy just try uh, the dead cell hollow knight and cuphead finish those games and then tell me that you have a great gaming skill then i will believe you these three games are really really tough especially i think the dead cell it is like the toughest game in the whole video but the next one is not tough but what it is is amazing like you have played games you have enjoyed games but when you are going to play it you will experience something which you have never experienced and Uh, i'm not like over exaggerating it it is true it first came on uh, the ps3 then it's ported over to ps4 where i played it in 2015 then recently i think it ported over to pc and now it's available on epic store and the game is journey it's a small game like you can finish this game in 2 to 3 hours and when you think about realistic graphics or great visuals great graphics you think oh it, the whole environment needs to look picture perfect the foliage has to be great the character has to be uncanny it isn't it isn't but the whole visual the story like is the game has a simple goal you have to go from point a to point b this is this, i'm not spoiling anything but it's a very simple goal and at the same time this is a multiplayer game and the best thing about this you cannot talk you cannot chat you cannot do anything but you can play with another character and when i like when you hear that wow i cannot interact with them then how it works believe me it works great and like the score boy oh boy like i can just I I replayed this game many times just for the score it's that amazing I really like the score and when you think about a game about its visuals about its uh, story about its combat and I also look for the same things the game mechanics the story the visuals but if it has a great score then like it's a total package and like the one bad thing about this game is that it is short it is very short and i want to see more about this game and i think um, the developers of this game made another game which i have on my phone i forget the name sky there's another game uh, these developers made the, uh, another game sky and it's available on android ios and also pcs and also i think in most of the consoles this is also the same concept and that game also looks pretty good and believe me the game journey it can easily made the first uh position but it just like my mood wasn't for the game that i need to give it the first position because the first one is really my all time favorite and that is firewatch 
boy oh boy where to start when you start see this game what do you see a uh, cartoonish or a very stylistic graphics but it isn't it the game is made for adults this whole story about combating various different things about life i know when i say st- when people say stuff about a game like these stuff like a game will help you to uh, get over with uh, like move on with a bunch of stuff uh, like when, when you hear this stuff you're like come on man a game cannot do that but believe me this game can it's a open world game and when you think about open world you think a uh, very dense packed and there's going to be a lot of people out there it doesn't you are in a jungle and there is like little to nobody you are the only person there and you are communicating with another another person uh throughout a one way radio and like you cannot even see the character and from the starting of it from the start when you start to play the story and what it build up on it's it's great and the voice acting boy oh boy i made a video about gta 5 and how great its voice acting was you need to check that it right here but this this is in another level like if you haven't tried firewatch just go and play it and the score oh boy again like it's spooky like when you go far into the game like when you are in like day 70 or day 80 you will start like wow orange bright how great it is but when you go to like far into the game like in in the day 70 believe me it will scare you you will like you, you will be scared to look behind what's behind you and there is nothing the atmosphere makes you feel like that the ending was a little bit lackluster but honestly if you haven't tried it go and try firewatch and let me know in the comment section do you guys want to see more videos like this where i talk about games in a in depth way why i chose this games like i can give you five games or 100 games in 10 minutes uh, like give you list one by one by one but i thought let's uh, talk about the games and that's what i did so uh, let me know how you liked it and if you liked it hit the like button if you don't uh, leave it as like that works for me and if you want to watch more videos from us check that video right here and wow there is a subscribe button you can press it really you can try it try it you, you, you really can press it so press the subscribe button and this is akash and i will see you guys in the next one peace out